Okay, so we live in a world that's just constantly being reshaped by technology, right? It's happening so fast. And that brings up a really, really critical question. How do we get our kids ready to actually build that world and not just, you know, live in it? Well, that's exactly what we're going to dive into. This right here, this is the big one. It's the question every single parent, every teacher, every leader really needs to be asking themselves. Because let's be real. The future isn't something way off in the distance. In a lot of ways, it's already here. And for our kids, the stakes, they couldn't be higher. So here's where the real problem lies. The world is just, it's changing at lightning speed. And our schools, well, they're struggling to keep up. That creates this huge gap, right? A gap between what kids are learning in the classroom and what they're actually going to need to succeed out there. And listen, this isn't some sci-fi movie stuff we're talking about. These things you see here, automation, AI, robotics, this is today's reality. These are the absolute cornerstones of our economy right now. You've got AI helping create new medicines, robots on factory floors. I mean, this tech is transforming everything as we speak. So what does that mean? Well, here's the bottom line. A shocking number of kids are graduating, walking out of school for the last time, having never written a single line of code, never built a basic robot, never even touched a 3D printer. They're missing that fundamental, hands-on experience they need for a world that literally runs on this stuff. Okay, so what do we do about it? What's the alternative? It all starts with a huge shift in how we think about this. Instead of just teaching kids how to use an iPad or an app, the focus has got to be on empowering them to build it. You know, to go from just being a consumer to being a creator. Yeah, this quote just, it hits the nail on the head, doesn't it? This is the whole idea. The goal is to give every single kid the tools and maybe more importantly, the confidence to see themselves as someone who can actually build the future, not just someone who has to live in whatever future gets handed to them. But you might be wondering, how do you actually do that? It's not magic. It takes a really clear, structured plan. A path that starts when they're little and gets more advanced as they grow. So let's actually take a look at what that journey looks like. What I love about this is how much sense it makes. It's so logical. You start with the little ones, ages four to eight, with hands-on play. Super important for building those first skills, like visual logic. Then that naturally leads into the next stage. More complex stuff, like engineering and really digging into problem solving. So by the time they're teenagers, they're way past just learning the theory. They're actually doing real-world coding and design. And we're not talking about basic stuff here. Just look at what the older students get to dive into. CAD design and 3D printing, that's advanced manufacturing. Coding for the Internet of Things with a language like C++, designing their own games. And they're even talking about the ethics of AI. I mean, come on. These are the exact skills that are in super high demand in the real world. But here's the thing, learning all this tech stuff, it unlocks something even bigger. It's not just about training the next generation of coders or engineers, though that's great. It's really about building these core life skills that honestly are gonna be valuable no matter what they decide to do. This chart just lays it out so perfectly. You look at the traditional school column, a lot of focus on memorization, following the rules, working alone. But look at the other side. This new way of learning, it's all about critical thinking, working together to solve problems, and, this is a big one, developing a mindset where it's okay to fail, where trial and error is actually how you innovate. And when you boil it all down, everything is built around these four core ideas. And it's really like a perfect recipe, right? You need that spark of curiosity to even start. Then you need problem-solving skills to figure out how to make it happen. You need collaboration, because you can't do it alone. And of course, you need creativity to bring it to life. That mix, that's what makes a real innovator. Okay, and it really put this into perspective. Check out this number. Over 600 unique projects. 600. What that means is that learning is never boring or repetitive. It's not some one-size-fits-all deal. It's this giant library of cool challenges, so every kid can find something that gets them excited and pushes them to build something totally new. It just keeps things so fresh. So when you take all of this, the skills, the mindset, all those projects, it kind of brings us right back to where we started. But this time, it's a bit more personal. It's not just this big, abstract question about schools. It's about what we, as parents, can do to empower our kids for the future that's waiting for them. 
And that leads to this really direct but super important question for all of us to think about. Is your child really getting the chance to build, to think, and to create? I mean, does their education give them that room to play around, to design things, to mess up, and to innovate? Are they being prepped just to pass a test, or are they being prepped for a lifetime of solving really tough problems? And I think that's really the ultimate takeaway here. You know, we can't know exactly what the future is going to look like. Nobody can. But what we can do is give our kids the skills, the mindset, and the confidence to be the ones who actually build it. (laughs) 